from the moment that I walked into a radio station newsroom, I just, uh, I couldn't have been a happier person. Uh, it was just enormous fun. And I was, I, I got a place on the BBC journalist training scheme and we were sent around the country to work in various different local radio stations as a kind of baptism of fire. So we had to fill out a list of all of the places that we had an affinity or a connection with. And then they sent us to places that weren't on that list <laughs> very deliberately. So I sent to Hull, Northampton, Somerset Sound. And from the moment that I started working in a radio newsroom, I loved it. It was difficult because obviously, apart from anything else, you were the trainee sent from London. So, you know, everyone just threw darts behind your back. <laughs> you were very unwelcome. And you didn't know the patch. And that's what was extraordinarily harsh about it because, you know, the secret of, of you know, good journalism is to, to know what you're talking about, and obviously none of us had any idea. But it was a really superb training ground, really superb. I've loved it all the way through. This, uh, you know, well-spoken, um, snotty little girl from London was sent out to interview, you know, these guys who, you know, worked out at sea for 30 years, who have been made redundant, whose accents I couldn't understand, whose lives I couldn't understand. And it was a great training for listening and trying to make people feel at ease. But it was terrifying as well, really terrifying. And there were quite a lot of nights that I'd go back to my little bed and breakfast um, and just think, you know, actually, can I do this? Because it was a, you know, it's quite a lonely thing as well. Um, so I'm so hearing I mean, two things from you. Yes. I'm mean, hearing, I loved it. Yes. And I'm mean, hearing, mean, I didn't know what I was doing in a town by me. Yes, both of those things. Both of those things. Yeah, and to this day, I think I still feel both of those things sometimes uh, when covering stories and... Now, I and think journals. that's really encouraging to hear. So, yes, you should, it's that kind of... You, you make it look easy thing, isn't it? But it's funny, actually, because... I know people who've been um, in the business for, you know, even longer than me, who you would think of as being absolute titans of broadcasting, and they still say that they feel completely at sea sometimes. And I wonder, you know, maybe we should all show it a little bit more. Why don't we talk about that? I think we don't talk about it because it breaks the magic, actually. I think... You, when you're watching somebody on TV or you're listening to somebody to listening to someone on the radio, I think you have to really, really believe that they want to be there and that it's easy for them to be there. I think that is part of the kind of contract. That's part of the deal. But also, it's about it's about not you know breaking the the kind of the glass surface of success, isn't it? It's about always maintaining that everything's fine. I don't think we talk about uh, fear of failure or actual failure itself nearly enough. And I've noticed something very different actually in the younger generation, because I'm quite an old heifer now. But I think that there is less of a fear of failure. And I don't know whether that's to do with um, uh, the technical technological revolution, just the fact that you can have an idea on a Monday, have set up a business by a Friday, if it doesn't work, you think of another one by Monday, you know, you carry on. I think that's quite a kind of new concept that you don't build a business for life that starts like that and then, you know, grows and then you retire and go on a nice cruise down the Danube. You know, I think there's a very different kind of way of looking at your own life. But also I think genuinely there is less of a fear of just putting your hand up and going, whoops, really cocked up there. I don't think that the younger generation reacts quite as badly. I think we're a bit emotional about failure. <laughs> Even now, I think.